Hey everyone, Kurt from GTF Overland, Long Beach, California here. We've had a number of inquiries from customers regarding how to set up their Sunflare Explorer solar panels with various Red Arc charging systems, specifically the BCDC and the Manager 30. So today we wanted to just go through how to make sure that the two brands play nice together when you set them up. So first let's look at a problem people are actually running into when combining the two systems. If you were to look at the specs of your Red Arc system and the Sunflare solar panels, specifically the 180 watt and above, you'll notice that the Red Arc system has a maximum input voltage of 32 volts, but the Sunflare panel has a maximum output voltage of 36 volts. That over voltage is causing the Red Arc system to shut itself off and not charge your battery. Now this problem is limited to the Explorer 180 watt and above panels and does not happen if you're using the smaller 105 or 126 watt panels which have a 21 volt and a 25 volt maximum output voltage respectively. So let's talk about solutions. The first and easiest solution would be to buy panels that already work with the Red Arc systems. If you look at Sunflare Explorer's lineup, they have various size panels starting with a 105 watt panel, which you can see here, that actually has a lower output voltage than the larger panels. So if you were to do two of these panels wired in parallel, you would have a combined wattage of 210 watts, but a lower voltage of 21 volts. Now the charge rate is gonna be the same regardless of what you use. We're just substituting two panels for one panel. The next solution, if you want to use one of the larger 180 or 210 watt panels, would be to use some sort of voltage regulator to bring the output voltage of the panel down to the threshold that will work with the Red Arc system. So one solution we use here at GTFO is by plugging in a Victron solar controller in between the Sunflare panel and the Manager 30. Now, a solar controller in essence is a voltage regulator in that it takes higher wattage from a panel and tapers it down into a manageable amount of current for the battery to absorb. Now there's two different options in wiring one of these and we'll go through both of those now for you. So the first way you can hook this up is to bypass the Red Arc system completely and hook this solar controller directly to your auxiliary battery. Now you'll still get all the features of the Red Arc system, you just won't be able to monitor the wattage coming into your system through the Red Arc remote monitoring screen but you are able to dial into these solar controllers using your phone through the Victron app. Now the second option is to wire the Victron solar controller in between the panel and the Manager 30. Now because we talked before about how the Manager 30 has a maximum input voltage of 32 volts, we actually have to go into the Victron solar controller and set the charge parameters of this to below what the Manager 30 will accept. One thing to keep in mind about this setup is that the Victron solar controller is actually doing the heavy lifting between the panel and the Manager 30. So by the time you get that data to your remote screen on your Manager 30, it's gonna look very consistent and very level and you won't see very much in fluctuation from the panel because that's all happening prior to the Red Arc system. So one of the reasons we really like Victron products is because they're almost infinitely adjustable. So not only can we tell it exactly the voltage that we want it to output, but also the amperage if you have specific needs for your system. All right, so let's recap the three solutions that we just talked about. The first is to just buy two smaller Explorer solar panels, combining them to achieve the same wattage but having a lower output voltage. The second option would be to bypass the Red Arc system and use the Victron solar controller to go from one of your larger panels and straight to the battery. The third solution is to use the same Victron solar controller as a voltage regulator and just program it to have an output voltage that is within the Red Arc's maximum voltage input. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. And these are just a few of the solutions that we have found, but we're sure that you found your own. We'd love to hear about your answers in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to reach out to us at any time if you have any questions.